Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Jam Draws. Thanks for joining us again today. So today we are drawing a Japanese restaurant that we went to when we were in Japan. The food is exquisite. I'll link the name of the restaurant down below. You guys should check it out. So I'm just lining it out with my pencil first because in this art, I don't actually use any ink and any fine liners. So I actually detail it with my 6B pencil and I try to do a painting inspired by Miyazaki films As you'll see in his films they're very lively they're watercolors but they're very beautiful and they just pop just very peaceful and a lot of Japanese Shinto culture and that's where he gets inspirations from uh, there's not much Shinto culture references in my painting per se but you can see the the feeling of the painting like you would be immersed in a Japanese forest but which is funny because the restaurant actually looks like that it looks like you're in a Japanese forest when you walk in and I, I'm very impressed with uh, Studio Ghibli's character design I try to draw my little brother as a polar bear because he's very white and pale so I was drawing him as a polar bear Both to later on you'll see I draw myself as a brown bear because I'm quite dark and my sister as a rabbit a video for Easter is coming up with featuring her uh, hope you guys look forward to that I've asked my best friend many times what kind of animal that she thinks she is but she hasn't come back to me with anything so I can't draw her as any animal but it's funny because she's actually been in every travel except for one or two with me and my sister and I would like to draw her in my drawings as a as an animal but every time I ask her she always forgets about it and then I have to ask her again but she loves dogs she has two dogs so um I'm pretty sure I'll draw her as a dog in one of these videos if she doesn't get back to me by then but I think she'll probably be pretty happy being a dog so what I'm doing guys back to the painting I'm just drawing a little bit of bush in the side and I drew a bunch of stones so this restaurant had a wall at which you would say made out of stones and it kind of incorporated it into the forest and that's what I try to do I think so they had these lanterns in every other step which I'm drawing over here so tell me tell me below if you guys been to Japan or if you want to go to Japan I obviously loved it I've been planning to go there for a long long time and two years ago I was finally able to go uh, we basically went from all the way from Hakata which is in the bottom of Japan to all the way to the top uh, to Tokyo actually no we didn't go to Sapporo which is above Tokyo but that's for next time so yeah tell me in the comments below if you guys have been to Japan or want to go to Japan um, we actually tried to go to the Studio Ghibli Museum uh, but we couldn't get any tickets because you have to buy them in advance believe it or not from a 7-eleven which is across the road and we found that quite quite um, funny next time I guess uh, that's probably one of the things that I would like really really like to go to uh, Studio Ghibli style animation is just beautiful I don't know if you guys ever ever heard the music from them or not but they, they're so nice it just incorporates the feel of every every movie that they do like I think they spend a lot of time just getting the ambience of their characters yeah I like putting uh, paintbrushes in my mouth when I'm grabbing something else it's a bad habit but I do it I should I should stop but uh, when you're just rushing around and you don't want the paint to drop it's nowhere else to put it because you don't want the paint brush tip to hit your disc so I just put it in my, put the back end in my mouth while I grab something else 
so I did get a new brush by the way guys it's a squirrel hair brush which holds a lot of water I'll be reviewing that soon so I've got a big one it's more for for holding a lot of water and just doing backgrounds or or just mixing a lot of color together in the background if I need to do a whole bunch of background work at once but the smaller version of the brush well it's not really small but like a size 8 of a normal brush I would say uh, it does really well it holds a lot of water and yeah tell me tell me also in the comments below if you guys like to see more product reviews because that's something that I'm really into like I would like to do a lot more product reviews because I think when I started out there was there is a lot of art advice but I don't think there is actually art advice from a beginner's perspective like a lot of these art advice that you get they're all coming from people who are quite good and professional already but where I taught myself how to paint and I'm still teaching myself how to paint when I see a product that works for me sometimes I think maybe maybe that will work for somebody else as well and I think I'm able to help you guys with it well if you guys want to see more more product reviews or 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 steps in general or beginner steps from a beginner so that way we can kind of grow together and and have art skills that grow simultaneously it's kind of like kind of like a like a paint along but but we're both very bad well you might be better than me so guys what i'm trying to do right now is pop out a video every wednesday uh with my scheduling and everything and do an extra one every friday so it doesn't matter what i do i will definitely do one every wednesday doesn't matter how busy i get but i will try my best to do one every friday so far i've been good for the last two weeks i pop one out on friday as well so it just depends on how busy my schedule gets but i'll definitely definitely do one every wednesday so make sure you guys check it out whenever it comes out and uh, try to subscribe and share my video so other people can see it as well and uh, my instagram as well is linked on my page so i hope you guys and i always put it on the bottom of the video too i hope you guys can check that out I was, I'm putting purple walls over there and blue mixed in. I kind of like the idea of when it's a bit dark in the sky, like when the sun's about to go down. It's not always just red. Sometimes you can see these purple, bluish shades, or maybe it's just me going crazy, but I kind of like that on the wall. And I always see like, how about if a wall kind of look like that uh, so that's why I, I put the wall purplish blue I, I just really like that that mixture of color and how it looks like but back to um, my Instagram so I, I recently ran a giveaway on my page and I had a lot of entries like more than 250 entries I was so so glad I, I didn't even think like 10 or 20 people will entry but it ended up being really big and I was looking at the statistics uh, the other day and there was people from the USA, India, UK, Thailand I think the top the top three was it was Australia because I'm over here and then India and then Bangkok after that and some 16 year old kid actually won it from from India and I sent it out and hopefully he gets it but uh, one of my mates who is from there, well, he's not from there, but his wife is from there. Um, I asked him and he told me that there's a big chance that it might get nicked. I hope, I really hope it doesn't because it's a big thing for a young person uh, to have a really, really good coloring set. And it was a pretty good coloring set. It was the, it was the Kuratake set as well, but it was just a 12 palette paint not the big one that I reviewed so I think it's a really good quality paint to start off with 
and I hope he really enjoys it and I hope it gets to him so he can get on his art journey and start so I, I hope I wish him all the best and I wish it, it gets to him and I'll update you guys if he gets it and if I get to another milestone so if I hit another another maybe 500 followers on my Instagram I'll start a, another giveaway but on my YouTube if I get to a hundred subscribers I will do a giveaway as well tell me what your inspirations for paintings are if you guys are starting out or if you guys are even veteran artists and painters so I've been having a problem with my GoPro that it didn't have enough of a battery life when I was recording these videos by the way I, I film all, all of these on my GoPro so sometimes they turn off and I, I didn't really realize and I missed some footage but I, I've recently gotten about three more four more batteries and now I should be good to continue when um, when they kind of die and I don't have to wait for them to charge up so that's really good i got a few more surprises that i will talk about next week or this friday when i drop another video so what i'm doing right now is just doing the final touches i'm using a bit of black paint to do the outline for the little polar bear with the orange backpack yellow t-shirt and blue pants and i'm just detailing up the the branches and a bit of the leaf over there just so it kind of pops up doesn't look really flat by the way the reference picture that you guys see on the top left side of the video is from Pinterest once again uh, although I have been to this place I haven't actually taken a photo and even if I did it would be a blurry mess as everybody tells me I'm very bad at taking photos which I also agree on because I don't know what happens when I press the shutter like it looks really nice when I'm about to take it but as soon as I press that button it turns into a blurry little mess so I'm drawing a roof over here I should have drew the roof a little bit to an angle so it doesn't look as flat over here as it does and I'm just putting in the final touches basically and just drawing and detailing with the pencil a bit more on the shrubbery and on the branches so guys thank you once again for watching another video hopefully you guys subscribe and like and put a comment down below thank you guys very much and see you soon bye